This is Samantha here, just bringing you another little update on what I'm doing. I've been... I'm okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this very, very holiday look. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm also using quite a few new products to my makeup arsenal. If you guys are interested in swatches of a couple of the things that I bought recently, make sure you let me know down below. I have new Coastal Sense palettes, I have new foundations, I have new highlighters, a bunch of new things. If you guys are interested in swatches or want to see reviews for anything that I've been trying out, welcome to leave me a comment down below and I will definitely get on that for you guys. If you guys are also interested in this look, make sure you keep on watching. And this is my very holiday look for this holiday season. And I have been loving these Coastal Sense eyeshadows. I have them in two shades. I have a palette that I made myself, and then I also have the fall palette. So let's get started on my eyeshadow look. First, I'm going to take this lighter shade in the palette, in the fall palette, to, to set my eyelid primer. Now let's get into colors. I am going to be zooming you guys in so you can definitely check out how I'm actually doing all of it. I am going to go into the palette that I made myself and I'm going to add a very few couple colors. With a little fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this pink shade, this pink shade, and I'm going to set that into my crease. Once that's laid down, we're going to go into a deeper plum shade. This pink shade right here is called Tuscany. We're going to go into this shade down here, and this one is called Wild Raisin, and I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease and give me more definition. Blend it out with a fluffy blending. When you have both those shades worked into the crease how you want them, definitely go into the outer V with a deeper shade. I'm going to be using maroon berry and I'm going to use that on my outer V to definitely deepen it up. I'm going to go into sun dried. I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eyelid. If you lose a little bit of the deeper plum in your outer V, go ahead and go back and add that in. Now I'm going to get back in with the rest of my face. Now going in with my face, I'm going to go back with that chafing gel as a primer to smooth out my pores. I only use a tiny little bit, dot it on my nose, my cheeks, because I have enlarged pores there. And I'm just gonna continue. And then using this City Color Primer Oil, and I will tell you that even though I'm greasy, I'm a very greasy like person. It's been pretty good on my skin. It hasn't broken me out. It hasn't been really harsh on my skin or acted weird even if I have oily skin. So I've been loving this. It also seems to help me keep the oil at bay. The oil at bay, surprisingly. So I only need like four drops. And I feel like even that is kind of pushing it. So dot that all over your face and rub it in. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have it in the shade Y455. I'm going to put that all over my face and we shall almost be done. With a holiday party look, I would definitely go a little bit more glam, a little bit more over, a little bit a little bit more extra with my makeup. So I'm going to bake this time. I feel like you haven't seen me bake or really bake. I'm going to go in with some banana powder to set my under eyes and bake a little bit. While that's baking, I'm going to just contour a little bit. And I honestly still love just like a regular powder contour. So going back to a steady favorite from this year, the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm going to carve out my cheekbones and then maybe a little bit under my jaw. I am back, I have my eyebrows on, I put some eyelashes on, and I've got my eyeliner on. The three most important things for makeup routine, whatever is preferable to you, obviously. But the only couple things we have left are my highlight, 
some blush and the lips I have been loving this car the highlights from the Carly Bible palette this is the highlight that I've been wearing most often it is one of my favorites I'm gonna eventually hit pan on that the rest I kind of use for eyeshadow and more of the golder highlight very in right now for the holidays so definitely I usually go pretty heavy but it's really up to you and there's always the option if you don't like how heavy or how dark something is go back with your foundation brush blend it a little bit out around the edges and you'll be fine and the blush that I've been loving is very natural it is from sleek I do not know the shade color anymore but it looks like this very natural shade for my skin tone something easy to wear but it's still going to be there and I always put my blush over the top of my highlighter just so it looks like you have a little bit more glow from the inside we're almost done we just have one more thing and it is the lips I feel like you can either go neutral you can go that extra mile and go for a very deep shade which I am probably leaning towards I'm gonna go with in from MAC. Now I'll do let your hair down, fluff it out a little bit. And I've been loving how messy my hair looks, kind of, sometimes. And that is the end of this makeup look. If you guys are interested in a very, very, kind of, a very, very holiday look, this is the look for you. Make sure if you guys try out this look, give it a thumbs up, let me know, and if you want, tag me on Instagram so that I can see that makeup look and how you guys are able to do it. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys are interested in more content from me, make sure to subscribe. Also, check out some of my my most recent vlogmas video my holly jolly tag if you want to learn a little bit more about me thanks for stopping by i will see you guys next time Mwah.